In this video, we're going to do improper integrals with infinities in the upper bounds. In example one, you'll notice that there is an infinity in the upper bound. So we're going to have to use limits to help us with this. So we're going to start with the limit, and we're going to temporarily replace infinity with the letter L, L standing for limit. So we'll take the limit as L approaches infinity of the integral of 1 to L of 1 over x dx. Well, if we integrate 1 over x dx, we get natural log. So this becomes now the limit as L approaches infinity of the natural log of L minus the natural log of 1 when we plug in our bounds. Well, as we plug in infinity for the limit, uh, there's nothing to plug in here, so that becomes a 0. Natural log of 1 is 0. Uh, here we have the natural log of infinity, which is just infinity. So we could say either infinity, or we could say that this diverges. Let's take a look at another example. In example 2, again, we have an infinity in the upper bound. So we're going to replace that temporarily with an L. So we're going to rewrite this as the limit as L approaches infinity. Um, we are integrating from 1 to L of 1 over x squared dx. Well, if you integrate 1 over x squared, you get negative 1 over x. So let's go limit as L approaches infinity. We have negative 1 over x from 1 to L. So that's the limit as L approaches infinity of negative 1 over L minus negative 1 over 1. Well, we have our first item is a low high because it's a going to infinity, so that becomes 0. We have a double negative makes a positive, so we get 0 plus 1. So our answer is 1. In our third example, again, we have an infinity in the upper bound. So let's rewrite that as a limit. We have the limit as L approaches infinity from 1 to L of 1 over 3x plus 1 squared dx. Well, that's a u sub problem. u would be our inside function, 3x plus 1. du would be 3dx. If I want to multiply by 3 on the inside, I need to divide by 3 on the outside. So now I've got the limit as L approaches infinity. Integral of 1 over u squared du. I'm going to go ahead and leave the bounds out for a moment. I am going to bring my 1 third down. Uh, when I integrate that, again, I get negative 1 over u, but it's not really u. It's really 3x plus 1. So I can rewrite that now as the limit as L approaches infinity. I've got a 1 third times a negative 1 over a 3x plus 1 from 1 to L. If I go ahead and plug in, I get limit as L approaches infinity. When I plug in the L, I get negative 1 over 3 times 3L plus 1 minus negative 1 over, I've got my 3 times 3 times 1 plus 1. Well, again, my first fraction is a low high, which becomes 0. I have a double negative makes a positive. With my second fraction, I've got a 1 over a 3 times 4, which gives me 1 twelfth. Let's go ahead and do one more example. So again, we have in the upper bound an infinity. So we're going to rewrite this as the limit as L approaches infinity. Um, 1 to L x plus 1 over x squared plus 2x dx. Well, this is a u sub problem. We're going to have u as x squared plus 2x. du is going to be 2x plus 2 dx. Now, we don't quite have that, but if we were to multiply the top by a 2, then we would have that, which means we need to multiply by a 1 half on the outside. 
Well, so now we've got the limit as L approaches infinity. We've got a one-half integral from 1 to L. Um, we've got 1 over U du. Well, 1 over U is natural log. So we can go limit as L approaches infinity. We've got 1 half natural log absolute value x squared plus 2x from 1 to L. Let's go ahead and plug those in now. So we have the limit as L approaches infinity. If we plug in the L, we have 1 half the natural log of L squared plus 2L minus 1 half natural log of 1. Well, when we plug in our infinity to the first part, we get infinity. So the back part doesn't matter, and we can say that this diverges.